Welcome back here to Midday Kentucky. If you are looking for some educational fun to have with your family, why not head out to the Living Arts and Science Center? Joining me today, we have Kristen Voskel to discuss the activities offered at the Living Arts and Science Center. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. So I can't believe I've never been out to the Living Arts Center yet. Um, just tell us a little bit about the background for maybe people who haven't been out there. Sure, so we're celebrating our 50th year this year. We were founded in 1968. Uh, we are located downtown on the corner of Martin Luther King and 4th Street. We're in a historic house there called the Kincaid House. And just last year, we opened up a new addition to the historic home. That's a modern addition. So uh, we now have 15,000 square feet of space there right downtown. And I think uh, what we were talking about in the break, you said people think of it as just kids first. But it's really everyone in the community. You have stuff for kids, families, adults, right? Right. So um, we are known for what we do for kids, which is we're a great place for no school day classes. Um, we offer k classes for kids all throughout the year, summer camps, um, field trips come there. But we offer a lot of classes for adults too, uh, a lot of ceramics classes, cooking classes, uh, painting, sculpture, drawing, those kinds of classes for adults. Um, and tons of events. One of our uh, big events for adults is Heart Full of Fun, a big fundraiser we do every year. Well, I'm loving this video that we've been seeing up. It's so interactive with the kids. And you mentioned days off of school, things to do there. We have a couple coming up. We've got Martin Luther King Day, President's Day, people even looking ahead to spring break. What right. are some of the programs you have going on? So for Martin Luther King Day, we're doing um, classes that we're calling a day of service for the birds. So we're having um, kids can come and make bird feeders, help us improve our habitat there at the Living Arts and Science Center for the birds. Um, during spring break, we have classes that range, again, from ceramics, cooking, painting, science classes, engineering classes, a lot of different things for kids to choose from. And what are some of the things that you offer that are for families, where maybe adults can get involved with their kids? Is it similar classes? Sure. So one really great thing we do for families is called Discovery Saturday. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to come out to the center and see what we're all about. We have one coming up January 27th. Uh, we have a planetarium at the Living Arts and Science Center, which is the only planetarium in Lexington. A lot of people don't know that. Um, and so during those Discovery Saturdays, you can see a planetarium show, go through all of our exhibits. We have um, hands-on activities in our makerspace, and we do some workshops. Um, this next one is going to be paper marbling and hands-on science experiments in our workshops. So those are designed for the family to do together. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. You also have a big anniversary coming up, 50 years here in the community. What do you have going on to celebrate? So for our 50th anniversary, we have a year full of events coming up. I mentioned Heart Full of Fun. That's okay. going to be a special Golden Gala 50th anniversary event. Um, we have some special art exhibits coming to celebrate our 50th year. Uh, we're going to do our family fun day in a 1968 kind of way to celebrate our 50th year. So a lot of really fun things coming up. I have to ask you, my mind is still buzzing about the planetarium that yeah. you mentioned. Can you tell sure. us a little more about that? I want to come check it out. <laughs> yeah, so I like to call it an intimate planetarium. We okay. can seat about 60 people in there, which is perfect for our Discovery Nights, Discovery Saturdays, field trip groups. Um, we have all of the shows that you might see at a larger um, science museum. So we have a Big Bird show. We have um, one coming up this next Saturday about Saturn. We have one called Back to the Moon. A lot. We have about 15 different titles that we show. Um, but it's always beautiful. Um, it's also actually a really interesting rental space. I've done a wedding in there. Oh, wow. All sorts <laughs> of different things. Very <laughs> versatile. More versatile than you might oh, think. So yeah. much going <laughs> on over there. We want to thank you so much for coming in. Yeah. We want to put up all the information on the screen so that you can go over, go to their Facebook page, their website, and you can find out some more information about all those wonderful classes offered, especially if you're looking for something for Martin Luther King Day. So thanks again for coming in today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Up next, after the break, Barbara Streisand gives the Golden Globes a piece of her mind. Plus, find out what Animal Planet is doing with their Puppy Bowl contestants. It's coming up after this break.